before we can start selling we need to enter products in inventory so we'll go to inventory edit inventory and this screen in here allows you to add edit and uh, delete items in inventory now we'll show you how to enter um, three different items uh, for di three different ways of selling in our uh, software first we'll start off with an item that's going to be a um, bottle of water and because they typ typically come with a, a barcode on them we're going to want to sell it by scanning the barcode with a barcode scanner now when we want to add an item uh, for uh, scanning with a barcode scanner what we want to do is we want to make sure that for item number or as we call it item ID we enter the exact barcode uh, whether we scan it in here or we type it that doesn't matter as long as it's the exact barcode and it's going to relate to this product whenever we scan uh, with the barcode scanner uh, the second um, field in here is a description that goes on the uh, screen as you sell and on the receipt so we're going to enter a description for it um, let's say we supply this bottle of water at one dollar a bottle and let's say we want to do like a, a 40 percent markup so that uh, roughly calculates our uh, final price at dollar uh, forty if we don't want to do uh, the determination of prices in this uh, order what you can do is you can also just enter the supply price which is one dollar and then say you have in mind a rough um, a final price or some rounded nice rounded price you can type in let's say dollar fifty and the markup is automatically calculated for you by the program all the pieces supply date well let's say if we uh, enter today's date in here that just uh, is a reminder for us if we want to keep track of this kind of things uh, when we order the uh, batch of uh, inventory that we're putting in for this product right now so that could keep uh, you know help you keep track of uh, expiration date or for whatever reason you want to just remember the date that you ordered the batch you know of the product product class uh, right now we don't have any to choose from in here because we're just starting on um, filling out the inventory so let's create a, a, a product class for this. this is a bottle of water let's say we're gonna put that generally speaking on all soft drinks let's call the class like that um, the next uh, question pretty much asks you where you want to print this to of course everything gets printed to the receipt printer because the receipt needs to contain everything however for the ordering when the where the waiter orders you need to uh, have the item print in the location of the business where it will need to be prepared or delivered on a tray so this will go to the bar because it's a drink even though it's just water um, if by any chance you have your waters in the kitchen by all means you would sell a kitchen printer um, the next um, area in here of um, details is regarding uh, tracking quantity if you don't want to track quantity by any chance you know you don't want to keep up with that just select do not track quantity pretty self-explanatory that way the software is not going to bother you when the quantity gets down to zero it's not going to not let you sell it's going to let you sell an unlimited quantity however if you want to keep track of quantity keep this box unchecked in here and definitely add the exact quantity uh, of the item uh, that you're putting in inventory let's say that we just supplied I don't know 60 bottles of water existing quantity uh, this field in here is just an informational field you don't edit it you don't uh, you know fill it in the program tells you what your existing quantity is if you have any leftover quantity from an older stock of this item right now this is a brand new item we're entering in inventory we definitely don't have an older leftover stock we don't have like five or six bottles left over from previous order laying around but if we did it will be written in here just for your information um, the next option is uh, regarding low stock alert what that means is if you want the software to alert you when the stock of this product when the quantity gets too low uh, just click this box in here check it and uh, tell the software how many items do you want this alert to start on let's say 10 items let's say when you get to 10 bottles of water the software is going to start alerting you to reorder some more 
needs to be weighed. This is an option that you will check if you have an item that needs to be weighed at the register. So it tells the uh, cashier, you know, please put the item on the scale. So it weighs it, gets the weight, and uh, it determines the final price uh, per weight per as unit of measure. We definitely don't. We're not gonna, you know, weigh this item. So we're gonna just uh, unselect that. Invoice path is just a way of you keeping track of any digital invoices. Uh, what that means is, let's say with this order, we ordered 60 bottles of water, the supplier maybe sent us our invoice or receipt uh, through email, very common these days. Maybe it came in a form of a Word document or something like that. So then we save that somewhere on our computer. Now, if you wanna keep that information in here, like where this file is, you can put the exact path in here to where you save that, where you're keeping the latest order uh, receipt or invoice so you can look it up for quick reordering tax let's say we're gonna uh, our state taxes general items at seven percent so we're just gonna set the tax for seven percent for soft drinks uh, commission if you want to give commission for this uh, you know product you can just enter it like let's say 30 percent commission or whatever you know if you don't give a commission just leave this field blank um, Supplier name. Right now we don't have any supplier suppliers to pre-select in here because we're starting uh, to fill up inventory just now. Um, however, uh, we're gonna make up a supplier. Uh, let's say I don't know U.S. beverage supplies. Uh, so you know we just made up a, a name of a company. Uh, supplier web. You can keep track of that too. The web page. Or supplier all this information uh, is optional in here you don't have to add it however many people like to because uh, then it makes it easier for reordering when quantity is low you know you can put the phone number of the supplier you can put comments about the supplier in here like I don't know they take upfront payment only or whatnot you know whatever you want to do and then you just click add to add this uh, item to inventory confirm it and it will tell you that it's been successfully updated. Now we're gonna add an item that we maybe don't have a barcode for, let's say, just an example, or we don't even have a barcode scanner in our business, we don't wanna use bar barcodes. Let's say we just wanna uh, sell items by just typing in the item ID, you know. So in that case, you wanna come up with an item name that's like a very short abbreviation, so you don't have to type long things, and very easy to remember, by the way, if it's short. Maybe an abbreviation of the name of the product. Let's say it's a Kit Kat bar. So let's just call it Kit Kat, the, the item number. Easy to remember, very short, you know. And here you can still put uh, the full description, you know, for supply price. Let's say we get it at, I don't know, 80 cents uh, markup, let's say, or nice round uh, final price of $1. Um, let's say the product class is going to be, oh, I don't know, um, candy uh, let's say it doesn't print to kitchen nor bar printer just on receipt printer let's say we sell it at the front desk you know like a concession stand at the register let's say we're not gonna track inventory right um, let's say it's also seven percent tax for this candy product class and supplier name uh, we can do the same one as previous click add to add it in the inventory and lastly let's add an item that we want to sell through the buttons that we created the quick menu buttons now if you remember from our previous videos we said when we created these buttons that uh, you know in inventory in order to sell through these buttons you must have the item ID match the exact name of the button exactly so that uh, it relates to that item in inventory so you can type this name of this button right here in item uh, in the item ID field or the item number field exactly and watch out for misspellings or mistakes like that or if you don't want to do that uh, there's an easier way you can just click on the button and it will tell you that there's no such item in inventory it will ask you if you want to enter it now you click yes and it comes back in here with the item uh, named uh, pre-filled for you correctly so you don't have to worry about any misspellings or anything like that. Let's say we get it for a dollar. We want to sell it for two dollars. I'm going to create a new class now. Alcohol. 
and this prints into the bar definitely let's not track quantity in the interest of time uh, tax let's say we have a higher tax on alcohol in our state let's say it's nine percent and we'll still go with the same supplier even though keep in mind you can add as many suppliers as you want in here so as soon as we click add confirm that's added to inventory as well 